I'm Joanne in my fashion sona form, and welcome back to the Talk and Taco. In the handout that I've told my slaves to hand out to you, you'll see. Now, over the years, Deborah has worn some questionable clothing. Me, being Joanne, I only wear the opposite of whatever Deborah wears. I've worn some pretty great things in my time. Why don't we take a look with a backflash? <sighs> now, when I created Earth, I had never created any clothing because oh, I didn't think it was very important. But apparently, humans can freeze to death. <laughs> Who knew? So, they killed some animals and made skirts. Now, they also wore leaves, but those didn't really stick, if you know what I mean. So, for a little bit of history, the first skirt was dated back to 3900 BJ, or BC if you prefer the human terminology. Skirts were worn by men and women, with no form of discrimination. Where Joanne comes from, we don't use discrimination. <laughs> also, it's Deborah. From the 19th to 21st century, Skirts started as narrow styles, from the hoop skirt and crinoloin styles. Well, there were short skirts and long skirts, and it was quite a while before people settled down. <laughs> well, I've only won one skirt in my lifetime, and that was when I was in the jungle, just to feel a little breezy. <laughs> Damn monkeys told my pants, literally. The skirt has been said to be one of the oldest pieces of clothing. In the past, women who were seen wearing flowing skirts were labeled as rich, like me, because fabrics at that time were expensive. To make a flowing skirt, extra fabric was required, and that meant a lot more money. Valérie Yisti, an American fashion historian, said, A skirt has been a crucial part of women's dress for centuries. Over time, skirts were generally transformed into different styles, ranging from short skirts to wraparounds, to A-line to pleated skirts to many more. In this modern era, skirts have become a must-have item in a woman's wardrobe. Skirts today are made out of different fabrics, such as denim, chiffon, or crepes, ankara, jeans, and etc. Now, these are some of the most famous skirts worn that are still very fashionable today. And they're also pretty pricey if you want that good quality. In 1784, it was bustles, honey coat, or Polonese, ranging from $300 to $400. In 1785, bustles went from $500 to, well, a very high price. In 1786, Polonese started at about $400. In 1787, the tabler came in. In 1788, it was still the tabler. In 1963, as everyone knows, that was the turn of the earth. They wore trumpets or six gourds, which apparently is some kind of skirt. In 1964, that was really an A-line year. In 65, it was, it was still A-line, but a tad shorter. In 1966, a straight fitted skirt. In 1967, the year of the maxi. In 1968, more of a ballerina. In 1969, a shorter bias cut. In 1970, they got the mini skirt. And it's pretty much stayed the same since then, so it's time to transition into pants. My favorite. Pants emerged in the 1600s. Trousers were the name for tailored and fitted pants, whereas the term pants was reserved solely for undergarments. Back then, we had bloomers, knickerbockers, breeches, slacks, jeans, shorts, and capris, if we want to be more recent. And until the 1900s, as you heard earlier, pants were reserved strictly for men. Modern pants styles, they are flared, tapered, straight. There's also shorts, short shorts, Bermuda shorts, and warm-up, as well as culottes, palazzo, or full, jumpsuits, and capris. 
In Western society today, we use genes as an umbrella term to describe all kinds of mostly denim fabrics. And with the most common being straight jeans, skinny jeans, shorts, and short shorts. Then there's leggings, which are sort of pants, and those would be considered popular. Pants today with the jean style are all very similar in design. The only difference really is leg length or the fit. The lengths going from longest to shortest are jeans, capris, shorts, and finally short shorts. These are all the most worn by our young society. Now, I'm going to be explaining the different types of jeans. We have skinny, straight, boot cut, flared, boyfriend, slim, and loose. 